From an app that tells you whether or not you're eating a hot dog to one that encourages you to launch your phone into space, these apps are dumb. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst app ideas that actually got made. It's free. Here it is. You see the sampler right there? We're taking a look at the most outrageous apps to ever be released. Even if they are not still currently available, they will be considered. Let's get to it. Number 10, not hot dog. There's nothing quite like an app that's used for something you can clearly figure out for yourself. Not hot dog is an app that tells you whether or not something is a hot dog. That's, that's it? It only does hot dogs? Yep, that's it. Put a hot dog in front of the camera and it confirms that it's a hot dog. Put a mug in front of it and you'll see that no, the mug is not a hot dog. Granted, this app is meant as a joke, as it's based on the one created in the HBO show Silicon Valley, but still, the novelty has to wear off pretty darn fast. Not hot dog. Number 9. Tap that. Here's a tip. If you absolutely have to download a dating app, maybe try Tinder instead. This game is a sex-based app that allows you to have virtual lovemaking via your phone. I'm gonna pick Homer, cause uh... Uh, he's got low stamina, but he's a heavy hitter. First, you're given a choice between characters, including hot blondes and Homer Simpson. You and a friend tap your phones together to commence virtual intercourse, complete with noises that are sure to earn you a few stares from the rest of the people on the bus. <laughs> That's about it. We really don't know what the point of the app is. Aside from the novelty of pretending your phones are doing it. Number 8. I am rich. If you have to pay $1,000 for an app, then it had better be a damn good app. This wasn't. I Am Rich was meant as nothing but a status symbol. You paid $999.99 and were given the app, which simply displayed a red jewel on the screen, complete with a hilariously lame and misspelled mantra. Amazingly, eight people bought the app, although some thought it was a joke and were reimbursed. And the app netted creator Armin Heinrich a profit of nearly $6,000. Not surprisingly, the app was quickly taken down, with many people labeling it as a poorly veiled scam. Number 7. Places I've Pooped Some people like to take pictures of their travels and exploits. Others like to collect postcards or other mementos from their journey. And then there are those people that like to track their dumps, in other words. This is the entire point of Places I've Pooped. Yep, the Places I've Pooped app literally tracks the places you've pooped. You can drop a pin on the virtual map to claim your territory, and you can receive notifications when your friends drop a deuce too, because that's something we all want. You can then compare your poop journey with your friends, you know, if you're into that. Number 6. Watching Cute Girl This is a Japanese app that provides your phone with a virtual girl who talks to and stares at you throughout the day. That's about it. It's meant to provide company, and it asks you various questions as the day progresses, like, have you eaten? It can also just stare at you while it says creepy things like, Watching you makes me happy. She doesn't seem impressed enough. She's mildly interested. The app was created by Japanese comedian Kendo Kobayashi, so it was meant as a joke. But it still brings up all sorts of implications, especially when you consider the fact that the girl takes photos of you, which are supposedly not uploaded online. Number 5. Is it dark outside? We don't know why you would ever need this app, short of being kept prisoner in a dank and dark bunker somewhere, though in those circumstances, whether you would even have a phone seems questionable. And then, would you have reception if you did? Back to the app. There is no twist. Is it dark outside tells you whether or not it's dark outside. Yeah, seems too ridiculous to be true, but it is. It also tells you the times of sunrise and sunset, but that's nothing your weather app can't do. Before this, I had to call someone and ask them if it was dark. So this is really handy for me. Why not just look out a window? Or we guess, call someone near a window? Number 4. I French Kiss, Give a Kiss These two apps for iOS and Android, respectively, claim to use some kind of funky analysis to gauge your skills at kissing and give you tips to improve your game. Yes, this means that you have to get intimate with your phone, apparently. The iFrenchKiss description page states, To use the app, you will need to kiss your iPhone or iPod. Use common sense and do not slobber all over the device. While a comment from the developers of Give a Kiss writes, Do not treat result acquired in apps seriously. Application purpose is to make jokes and play. 
Regardless of these warnings, we can't help but worry that these apps have either gotten people really sick due to their unhygienic nature and or given people not so great romantic advice. What's so great about kissing? Bart, it's not just a kissing. A lot of it is waiting to kiss. Number three, SMTH. The name SMTH or Send Me to Heaven may invoke pure and angelic images, but it is actually one of the dumbest things you could do with a phone. The entire concept of Send Me to Heaven is to throw your phone as high as you can. The phone tracks how high it's been thrown and it logs the results into a leaderboard so you can compare yourself with friends and other not too bright app users from around the world. You shouldn't need us to tell you why throwing your phone 20 feet into the air is not a great idea. Number two, I am a man. Where to start? Well, this application allows men to track the menstrual cycles of their girlfriend to know when they're on their period and thus when it's safe to get busy. It sounds like just another fertility tracker, but it gets worse. It actually allows you to track multiple women simultaneously. But wait, it gets even worse. The app allows you to set a personal password for each woman. So if your girlfriend discovers the app and makes you enter the password, the app will only show her cycle so she's none the wiser. If I could menstruate, I wouldn't have to deal with idiotic calendars anymore. This is some douchebag 101 stuff right here. I'm not even going to try to understand the layers of stupidity for that number two entry. But before we get to our number one most despicable pick, here are some honorable or dishonorable mentions. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. People Remember that Black Mirror episode about the system that allows people to rate other people? Remember how the show satirized the concept and showed us how it would be a horrible, horrible idea? Yeah, well, the app actually exists. Described as Yelp for people, people drew an enormous amount of controversy, as critics believed that it would promote cyberbullying. There is no ability to Are abuse you sure? people. The version that now exists is much tamer, as it removed the star rating system and allows subjects to screen their reviews for negative comments. Or as co-developer Julia Cordray put it, it's, quote, great for anyone who needs to display their reputation for others. We'll let you decide. There are two kinds of evil people. People who do evil stuff and people who see evil stuff being done and don't try to stop it. Does that mean I'm morally obligated to burn that lady's outfit? I'm kind of into the idea of people, only because I love to judge people. What do you guys think of our list? Let us know in the comments below and check out this video.